welcome back today we're gonna have a look at steal my girl by one direction we have to keep on the third fret for the song so let's keep up on fret three right now just want to show you the structure very quickly we have a uh, super easy chord shapes throughout the whole song there's not a lot of parts to learn but uh, definitely what all which we have is really easy and nice to play so the structure starts off with the intro where we have this then we have the verse, then we got the pre-chorus that Then we have the chorus Something like that And after that we got the nana part which is basically the interlude um, Which just comes after the chorus and after that we have the next verse, next pre-chorus Next chorus, again a next interlude, so everything is going same And then we have a bridge which is basically uh, same as a pre-chorus uh, and then we have the last chorus of the song and there you have it so let's have a quick look at the chord sheets then i'm just gonna try to break down the whole song easily first chord is g major which is three two open 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 three a minor mute open second second first open c major mute three two open first open d major mute mute open second third second uh, now for the g major chord for this song you can actually add the third fret on the b string with the third fret on the high e string which makes this sound a lot more better at least for this song so let's get started with the intro of the song the chord progression will be a simply G, A minor, C, D now what we're gonna do we're gonna be holding the G major chord and we're gonna be doing this we're gonna strum the D major chord I'm sorry the G major chord with a plectrum one dance stroke like this and at the same time when we're doing a down we're gonna do a hammer on from open to one on the B string so it sounds like this See that as soon as I come on hitting the B string, I do a hammer on. Then I hit the B string open, and then I play second fret on the G string, then open on the B, then I pull off from second to open on the G string. So we got. And you're gonna bring that on every chord. So let's hold the A minor chord, do one dance show. You can just do a hammer on. Uh, you can just hold the A minor chord like open on the B string, then second on G, open B, hammer on from open to second. I'm sorry, I pull off. Same thing for the C major chord from the C major chord. Open B, open G this time. I'm sorry, now open G, a second fret on the G string. So it's basically hammer on again, then open on the B, then again a pull off. You can do a hammer on when I said. Uh, or you can even just do a uh, normal, uh, just just hit the string. You don't have to do the hammer. So we got. Yes. Then we have a D major chord. What you can do is you can just bring the C major chord two frets up. So it's five one eight four one. You can just strum that, and then you can play. What happens is. Both are going on two different guitars, but the riff is always going. Even if it's the D major chord at the end, the riff is actually going at that part too. So you have to play that riff somehow. So we can just strum that and quickly move on. So I hope you got get that. It's actually going every time I play a chord. So we got. Just play like that. One more time. Just made some small mistakes somewhere, but I just neglect that. We're gonna move on to the verse, and it's basically just a G major and a C major chord. We're gonna be going for down, down, up, up, down, twice in each chord. So we got G. One more time. Let's move on to C major chord. What I do here is we have so instead of just strumming the C major chord down, down, up, up, down, you can actually do this riff, uh, which is actually going for the verse. And now it's exactly same. So that I repeat 
and after that we have the pre-chorus. Which is gonna be going for the intro, which is one, two, three, four. And we are mainly hitting the top strings, the root note, the bass note, the lowest note, whatever we call. So A minor, one, two, three, four. C major, one, two, three, four. G major, one, two, three, four. D major, one, two, three, four. So you got and then we have So over here we got the chorus and the chord progression will be a G major, A minor, C major, D major but there's a small catch. What we're gonna do on the G major chord we're gonna be playing down, down, up, up, down so we have and then we're gonna be playing down, down, extra on the G major chord and this extra thing which we are taking from the A minor chord so we are left with up, up, down on the A minor chord so let's go for a up, up, down so I mean down, down, up, up down, 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 up, up, down. See that? So we got down, down. I'm sorry, I just made a mistake. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. That's it. So it's like that. C major, down, down, up, up, down, like normal. And then D major. Just repeat that for the chorus. Down, down, up, up, down, down, down on G, and up, up, down on E minor. C major, down, down, up, up, down, and D major, down, down, up, up, down. After that, we got the interlude. Just play a G and the C, like you did for the what do you call that? The verse. Uh, we got the next verse of the song after the interlude. Same thing, pre chorus, same, the chorus, same. Anyway, if you hear this part, you can just play the one which I showed you for the introduction. And uh, then we have the bridge, which is again same as the pre chorus. We have. But it's a lot more softer, so we won't be going for damn stroke. Instead, we're just gonna be strumming uh, the full chord softly till the B string. And the bridge is actually twice the length of the pre chorus. The pre chorus is basically just one line you play in minor C, G, D. But the pre chorus, I mean, the bridge is twice the length of the pre chorus, which means we're gonna be playing an A minor, C, G, D, again A minor, C, G, D. But the D major always makes it sounds like we are towards the end of anything. That's the reason we're just gonna be cutting off the D major chord from the first part. So we have we won't be going to a D major. But the next line when it comes to the end of the bridge, and the uh, Zane actually hits a high note, you can just show a D major chord at that time. So I hope you get that. Whenever you're coming to the end of the chord progression for the bridge, you're gonna be just adding the D major chord. And then we have the chorus, which is again same. And uh, we also have one small riff uh, on the electric guitar, which is I think at uh, four minutes eight seconds, something like that. Uh, it actually goes like this. Am I right? Uh, just a minute. Yes. So basically, we just do a full bend on the 14th fret of the B string. So we got. Or you could, if you can't bend, you can just simply slide it to the 16th fret like this. So got, then add your pinky and hit 14th fret on the high E string. And bring the bend down or you can just bring from 16 to 14 slide. If you can't do the bend, so we have... See how it come down? So bend up, hit that, come down. Then 12 on B and 13 on C. And there you have it, that's the whole song. I hope this helps you out. Let me know what other song you just want to learn. If you haven't any subscribe, make sure you do so. And I guess I'll actually see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.